just how, how do you view tomorrow's challenge? How do you view getting the start and getting, getting for the AL CS? Eh, gracias por tomar el tiempo, pero desde, o sea, para ti eh, específicamente, ¿cómo, ¿cómo tú ves esa oportunidad de mañana, eh, ese juego, eh, poder eh, abrir, eh, eh, poder competir mañana? Para ti, desde tu punto de vista, ¿cómo tú ves esa experiencia y esa oportunidad? Bueno, en primer lugar, muy agradecido con Dios y con el equipo, o sea, por darme la confianza y la oportunidad de abrir el juego de mañana. Eh, es muy emocionante, tú sabes, de poder abrir el juego de mañana y, y poder competir. Uh, first of all, I just got to, you know, I got to thank God for the opportunity and, of course, the Yankees. Um, it's a great opportunity, you know, and um, I'm very excited about it, um, you know, to uh, to go out there and compete, really, you know. So uh, I know it's going to be exciting, and I'm looking forward to it. What have you been doing to stay ready? I mean, you haven't started a game in a while. Y, y para ti, ¿verdad? Entendiendo de que, que no, no han lanzado, no han visto acción en, en un juego en, en un tiempo largo, pero para mantenerte listo para lanzar, ¿qué, qué, qué has estado haciendo? O sea, ¿qué entrenamiento has estado haciendo? Bueno, eh, entrenando bastante fuerte, o sea, como siempre, al principio de la temporada, eh, tiré un juego de simulación, ¿sabe? Tiré cuatro innings, eso es lo importante, que estoy, me mantengo en la línea ahí, ¿sabe? Y, y ready para para la oportunidad de mañana con Dios. Yeah, um, since we started the season, you know, it's it's been a, uh, a really good routine, a work routine that we've put together throughout the whole season. And, um, you know, it was key for us to maintain that, uh, to to uh, stay within um, within the routine, uh, the, the, our workout routine. Uh, one of the things we did, we did a, we did a simulated game uh, in that game, with I went four innings, um, and um, you know I, I feel I feel good. I feel uh, ready for the opportunity tomorrow. Uh, you guys have uh, won five out of six games so far in the postseason, uh, going pretty well. What, as an observer, what has he seen that that the team is doing so well to get in this position? Tú sabes que el equipo se ha tenido un buen desempeño en estos playoffs. Eh, y eh, curiosidad, de, desde tu punto de vista, ¿qué tú crees que ha sido lo que el equipo ha hecho bien eh, en conjunto, verdad, para estar en la posición en la que está hoy en día? Lo mismo, lo mismo trabajar en equipo, lo que están haciendo, tú sabes, todos ellos están enfocados en una sola meta, tú sabes, que es ganar la Serie Mundial. Y eso es lo que nos ha mantenido ahora mismo, tú sabes, jugando así mismo enfocado. Uh, I want to say that the, the level of focus that all the, all the guys have, you know, it's... Uh, um, it's a, it's a, you, you can see that it's an effort where everybody's pulling in the same direction, uh, but the, the focus on on the job, the task at hand, it, it's um, very impressive. You know, our, our our goal is to win the World Series. You know, and I can see how those guys are pulling in the same direction with with that amount of focus. Daniel, what is the principal reto que encuentras en la alineación de los Guardians y sobre todo que no han tenido bateo oportuno ellos han dejado casi colchonetas es algo que lo tienes en mente que lo tomas en cuenta o no necesariamente uh, understanding you know the lineup for the uh, for the Guardians you know but what is the challenge to face uh, to face them understanding the the uh, the dynamic in their lineup bueno yo voy con el enfoque del principio sabe que todo el tiempo atacando mi zona o sabe buen comando de lo primordial y estoy darle como siempre ha tirado todo el equipo tú sabes con la misma intensidad uh, for me what's important is the uh, you know my my the plan that I have uh, uh, that we need to execute independently from from the um, from the team you know it's something that we've worked on all season uh, independently who we're facing um, it's about uh, understanding what's the plan of attack and how best to carry that plan during the game. Any family members here uh, to watch you and support? Sí, yo tengo aquí a mi esposa, mi mamá, mi hija, mi hermana y un amigo que que viene a verme mañana. Yeah, quite a few. Um, uh, my mom is here, my wife, sister, my daughter, good friend of mine. So. Uh, they're all here, and they're and they're coming out to the game tomorrow. Right here. 
obviously the biggest start for you is tomorrow, but what have you been proudest of this season, considering where you started, where you were, obviously, last year, like that. What's, what have you been most proud of while you're Entendiendo ¿verdad? que una salida importante eh, para ti, para el equipo, es, es esta de mañana, pero eh, en, en, en resumen, las temporadas que has tenido, ¿verdad? De, de, ¿de qué te sientes orgulloso ¿verdad? de tener esa, esa, una larga temporada en la que participaste intensamente? Bueno, me siento orgulloso, tú sabes, de, de cómo he tenido la temporada saludable, gracias a Dios, que lo importante está saludable y termina fuerte. Eh, el enfoque que he tenido desde el principio de la temporada, ¿sabes? Y, y nada, lo que hay que seguir, seguir con el mismo enfoque, tú sabes, y la misma madurez de tratar de ayudar al equipo con lo más que uno pueda. Uh, yeah, definitely proud of, you know, the season that um, I was able to put together. Um, um, you know, health was a, a very important aspect of it, you know, and um, I was able to do that to, to stay healthy and, and, and stay on the field, you know, and uh, from day one, uh really locking in on 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 the days that I that I that I pitched um you know growing as the season uh, maturing as the season went on you know definitely uh is one of the reasons why I'm I'm here uh where I am today and um really excited you know uh to keep that going tomorrow en ese juego simulado fueron cerca de 70 lanzamientos y cuánto en total más o menos y si fueron lanzados eh, bateadores de liga menores eh, bateadores de grande liga una mezcla como sí fueron bateadores de, los de liga menor y de, de grande liga también porque han jugado grande liga fueron como 70 o sea, por ahí 70 Yeah, I, I want to say, I think it's uh, about 70 pitches, you know, and, and it was a mix of both uh, minor league and big league players. Yeah, how sharp do you feel? I mean, it, it's been it, understanding that lives are, are the best approximation that you get to a big league game. Just, you know, how sharp do you feel at this point? Y entendiendo, ¿verdad?, que es un juego simulado al fin, pero que, que, tan, que tan bien te sentiste lanzando ese día la, eh, el comando de los lanzamientos. No, me sentí bastante bien, tuve buen comando, tuve buenos picheos, ¿sabes? Y eso es lo importante, que tengo tiempo ahí los picheos. I felt really good, you know. Uh, uh, I felt sharp, you know. The command of the pitches was there and the execution and um, the movement of the pitches was there. So I'm um, very pleased the way that went. So tomorrow is going to be the coldest game you've started in a long time, maybe ever. Like, are there things that you've learned or the things that you know to expect about pitching in that weather tomorrow? Eh, mañana esperan que el juego esté bien, eh, la temperatura esté bien fría. Eh, ¿cómo te, ¿Qué cosas haces verdad, para mantenerte eh, como quieres, caliente? Que, que, ¿Qué tipo de estrategia haces para mantenerte eh, caliente? Bueno, mientras uno se mantenga en movimiento, ahí, o sea, allá afuera y lanzando todo el tiempo, yo voy a estar caliente, cuando te, eh, en el dogado yo todo el tiempo voy a estar en movimiento, ¿sabes? tirando una pelota, va a mantenerme caliente. Uh, when you're on the field and you're moving, um, you know, it, that, that helps you a lot. Um, you know, it, that you don't even think about it. Um, and then in the dugout, you just got to keep moving, you know, you stay loose. Um, um, you find ways just to um, keep moving and ready for uh, the next inning. Why birdie and result? Um, I mean, they got a lefty going. Um, kind of uh, say the first one we faced this postseason because I don't count Reagan's because he's so the other way. Um, you know, Trevi's an important part of this this club and have a ton of confidence in him and what he brings to the table too. So that um, with Birdie. Also, just I loved how he looked in the division series, loved the dynamic he brings to the table. Um, and I kind of went into this series knowing that it might be Boyd in game three. Probably that would be the day coming off an off day with Riz. Um, now Riz has given me pause, though, just with how good he's looked. Um, but I still want to be mindful of what he is playing with and through and, and feel like – You know, a lot of this is the confidence I have in John, too, and what he can bring to the table here. Any questions? 
Oh. Aaron, in, uh, in winning five of these first six games in the playoffs, uh, what are some of the things you like most from what you've seen? Um, I think a little of everything. Obviously, we've pitched really well and 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 been able to close out games. You know, we've when we've had a lead, we've been able to close it out. I feel like, for the most part, um, our starters have have either been outstanding or at least getting us off to a good good enough start to go win a baseball game. Um, you know, I feel like we've caught the ball pretty well. I feel like the at bat quality's been there. Again, haven't necessarily totally broken through offensively but I feel like we've given ourselves a lot of chances really night in and night out and I feel like a lot of guys uh in the lineup are are putting together a lot of really good heavy tough at bats and that's how we want to be and you know hopefully hopefully in one of these games we really break out and and throw a big one up there but that said you know you get in the playoffs and I think we've scored five and six in these first two and um feel like there's still more you know we've even left some on the table so um really like where everyone's at just from a intent and focus and playing with confidence and um but that's all it is so far you know we we understand we've we got another important one in front of us tonight when you talk about pitching um how much does it help to have like a normal pitching staff, like where you can throw out an actual starting pitcher every game yeah. and let him go until he's yeah. Other four teams, <laughs> other three teams are always scrambling. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, hopefully, it's. Yeah. You know, I, I think right now with the teams left, it is probably something that differentiates us a little bit. Um. Because I feel like we're gonna roll out, you know, four really good starters at you that have a chance to get us deeper into a game and hopefully you know set our pen up even to to be used even better um and and that's with stro down in the pen you know it's like so you know part of it is you know we've 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 been able to remain fairly healthy from a starting rotation which i think is one of the reasons we were able to win our division and and you know secure the best record in the american league um it starts with those guys and them being able to go to the post as consistently as they did this year um but like where all those guys are and like the 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 chance they give us every every time each one of them takes the ball other questions Anthony? i saw Adam score made a comment about you guys you felt like you, you played with more joy this year looser more appreciation of the moment what have you mm-hmm. one do you agree with that and two is that intentional? Like, where does that come from? Um, I mean, we always try to strike that balance. You know, we talk about perspective a lot, you know, especially playing in New York, like, um, you know, different times of the year for different individuals. Sometimes as a team, it can be challenging and you try to have that perspective and try to remind the guys like, hey, as we go through this and there's times where it's pressure-packed or it's hard or you're going through a tough strip, like having that perspective of how lucky we are to get to do this. Um, so come to, you know, showing up, you know, to do your job with some joy. Um, I mean, it is something we're mindful of and try to remind, like I try to remind the staff, like when we're going through it and you're grinding every single day, like, Hey, we did this because we love it and we're good at it. And like making sure you have joy in what you're doing, I think is an important element to a team. For you guys, you know, mid-season when you were going through it, was that? I don't know. You know, I, I feel like this group has done a really good job, um, even when we're going through, you know, some low moments of the season that, or or we're getting tested at different times, a really good way about them, and a, and through it all. You know, I felt like at times we're even remarkably confident. It's like, let's go, boys. And they were, you know, showing up every day like unfazed, unworried, understanding the the adversity and the grind you face in a season. Um, but to their credit, they've they've done a great job with that. John right here. You mentioned Stroman. The way the first six posts and games have gone, you guys haven't had to go too deep into your roster in a lot of ways. There's high level relievers you haven't used yet and things like that. What is the – work involved in keeping everyone sharp and ready when they haven't like been out there yet in a long yeah. time. Well, I mean, like for Luis Hill, he threw a four inning sim game, you know, so he'll be going on his fifth day and obviously had his side in between. 
Um, <clears throat> we got a couple, a few of our relievers that were on the division series roster that either barely pitched or didn't pitch. They they got a live inning in a sim game. They'll get off the mound when they haven't for a couple of days just to you know try and stay as sharp as you can. Nothing's perfect this time of year just with how the series go, and that's part of it. You know, you're not always going to have everyone on their fifth or sixth day for the starters, or, you know, relievers aren't always going to get used, or you're getting used a lot, and you got to go to the whip a little bit more. So that's just the nature of October baseball. And, you know, you got to be prepared as best you can mentally for it. And, you know, we do all, they, all we can to keep them as sharp as possible. How much of that balance is a mental thing and that versus a physical thing? I mean, how, or how much do those? Yeah, work? I think that's. I think that's part of it, without question. Um, but I think also, you know, I feel like our pitching group does a really good job with making sure that, you know, these guys are getting some volume and in, in what they do, and you know, especially for the guys that maybe haven't worked in a handful of days or something. So you want to you want to try to keep them as sharp as you can um, with things they're doing physically. Um, but there's certainly a mental component to that too. Questions, Ben. When you look at these next uh, three days, three games in a row, is it on the table in your mind to use certain relievers each day if you needed to? No, no, it's game three. Um, so we'll see what's available to us as we go through our catch play and all that, and you know we'll circle up. I'll circle up with the, our pitching group and try and come up with a plan of you know you know, striking that balance between making sure guys are fresh and, you know, but, you know, we spend the whole season too <clears throat> being real vigilant on making sure we're protecting guys and monitoring their workloads and things like that to, when we get to this time of year, you know, hopefully there's a couple weeks left, but, you know, it's here we go and, and guys understand that. Over here. There. Aaron, how important is it to have somebody like Stroman in your pool kind of you do need to cover a lot of innings in one game if something goes wrong? Yeah. I mean, that's certainly one of the things he'll bring. Um, again, he's been now for a few weeks off his normal routine, and he's one of those guys that try to keep as sharp as possible. He's had a couple of, of sim, sim game scenarios to try and keep his, um, his volume of pitches up as best we can um because he wasn't on the division series roster too so he threw in the middle of that um but yeah i mean it's certainly something that he could potentially bring to the table that he, he may become very valuable in this series